Hello and welcome back to BE I Love channel. This video aims to equip us with the skills to create a symbology for vector layers, ensuring visually compelling and informative maps. So let's get started. Before we begin this tutorial, let's define symbology. In GIS, symbology refers to the visual representation of spatial data on a map. It's the art and science of making maps visually informative and engaging. Now that we've covered the basics, let's dive into the practical steps. Our journey begins with a straightforward action. Right-click on our shapefile in the Layers list and select Properties. Next, within the Layer Properties window, proceed to the Symbology tab. Click on the Color Selection button next to the Color Label. This will open a standard color dialog. In this section, you can modify the polygon color. For example, let's set the color to blue. Finally, confirm your changes by clicking the OK button in the Layer Properties window. Now, you can observe the implemented color on the layer. Moving beyond color, enhancing a layer's symbology involves removing lines between polygons for a cleaner map. To achieve this, again go to the Symbology tab and click on the Simple Fill option. New settings will appear. Here, click on the Stroke Style and select the No Line option. Finally, to remove the lines, click on the OK button. Now, you can see your modifications on the layer. Now, let's delve into more advanced symbology techniques. Just as before, navigate to the Symbology tab, but this time, we're taking it up a notch. Change the Single Symbol option at the top of the window to Categorized. This step unlocks a powerful feature that allows us to create a classified map using a specific column in the attribute table. In the value box of this window, you'll see the list of columns from the attribute table. Here's where the real magic begins. Choose the labels column and then click on the classify button. The outcome of this process is a thematic map where polygons sharing common labels are represented with identical colors. Now, let's uncover more options for creating meaningful maps in QGIS. One such option is the graduated symbology. Similar to previous steps, head to the Symbology tab, and at the top of the page, switch from the single symbol to graduated. This opens up a world of possibilities for creating a map with symbols that dynamically change in size or color based on the attribute values they represent. Here's how you can implement this in QGIS. From the value box, select the shape underscore star column, representing the area of each polygon. On the lower right side of the window, find the box indicating the number of classes. Set it to 10 for a detailed representation. Press the Classify button to dynamically categorize features based on their attribute values. Customize the color map using the highlighted section. Let's switch it up and try the Turbo Color Map. Finally, click the OK button to view the transformed map with graduated symbology. This is the final map we generated using the graduated option. Now, here's a challenge for you. Create a map with polygons showcasing only their boundaries. The output map should be like the shown map. Share your unique solution in the comments below. Thank you for joining us in this tutorial. If you have any questions feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for future tutorials and we'll see you in the next video.